All right, it's been a while, but we're finally back with Fears to Fathom. I'm actually saying it right this time. Episode 2. June 16. It just happened to me when I was 19. I'm a little over 21 now. I still remember this very clearly because of how creeped out I felt. I was a bit hesitant to write this out for the internet at first. But getting it out may help even if just a little bit. I was one of those people that loves gaming conventions. I go to every convention I get the chance to. And sometimes even meet some of my online friends. Though my parents weren't always thrilled at the idea of me going on interstate drives. But a plane ticket would have been too expensive. This convention I was at went great, and it was now the day to drive back home. But when I set off, I soon realized the traffic was horrible. I decided that I'd take the long way to avoid the traffic. It was a little over 12 hour drive, but damn. Oh, I gotta drive? What if I just run into a tree? Okay, I guess I'm allowed to do that. Okay, that was a bad idea. Maybe I shouldn't have drove into the tree. So actually, someone told me that this, every single one of these episodes are based on real life true stories. Which is... How am I gonna drive and read a message? Alright, you know what? Autopilot, maybe? Uh... Do I start here? Okay. That sucks. Who writes this? It's not too good here either. I think it's the people from the convention. That's it, I'm rerouting here. You gotta do what you gotta do. Drive safe, Holly. So uh, my name is Holly. Got a dad. Okay, that's my dad. Great. We're gonna keep driving. I'm probably gonna hit somebody. You know what? No. I was tempted to drive into that other car though. But I feel like it, I would've just got myself stuck for like a good freaking five minutes. So I will just be driving normally. Dude, stop texting me when I'm driving. How am I gonna drive safe? Where did you reach? So about six hours away from the city, you got stuck in a jam. Six hours away? Where am I, dude? Why do I feel like I see somebody in the mirror? Near halfway through the drive, I realized I was low on gas. But yeah, I was saying is, yeah, the, all this is based on a true story, which is crazy. And we're basically living through it. Told you to take that flight. Oh, Holly, it's gonna be late when you reach back. Oh, you're feeding all right. Well, not anymore. I just crashed because I was reading your messages. Don't read messages and drive, I guess. Also, it's saying space to get out, so I can- I have the option to leave my car anytime I want. Just go out and venture into the woods. If I really wanted to. It's like free will. In a game. You never get that. My car is gonna... Okay, but this is- this is- I should not be getting my driver license ever. Alright, we're gonna back it up here. I'm hoping there's a gas station, right? It's always a freaking gas station, dude. Some weird ass stuff happens here. That should be okay, right? I don't know which way the pump the gas. Okay, so I guess I parked in the right place. What the hell? 
I could just put that in the trunk. Yeah, I'm trying to. That should be fine. Now, how do I pump the gas into the car? How did I get into my car from behind the gas station? Not the gas station, the gas pump. Can I use it? I guess not. I'm gonna have to talk to this guy in here. Hello? I need some gas. Ma'am. Hi, can I get you... Can I get $10 on the pump too? Oh, there we go. You heading to the bridge by yourself? Yes, why? Not a lot of people head down there this time of year. Be careful. You got it. Thanks. What do you mean? For about a century now, many people have been going missing down there. And people who went looking for them never returned. If some guy at the gas station told me not to go somewhere, I am not going there. I'm turning right back around. Locals say the Norway Valley monsters have had torn them up and hung them upside down on trees. <laughs> oh, thanks for the gas. Can I use the toilet? Cool. Thank you. Thanks for that. No snacks. No little snack for the road. Should always get snacks for the road. Alright, let me talk to this dude. You heard about the Norway monster? Huh? The Norway Valley monster. You know anything? Big mistake. Alright. Damn, is, are you the monster or what? I'm gone. Why do I see something moving out there? And one more thing. If you see a woman in a white or blue gown trying to get a ride, do not stop. Just step on just step on gas as hard as you can. Why? Some people say that she died in a car accident there on prom night. Some say that she seeks vengeance after she was murdered there. Regardless, she's out for blood. Whatever you do, never, ever, under any circumstance, pick up a hitchhiker. Those people out there on the road putting their toms out, they ain't what you think, ma'am. They just ain't. I got a gas man. No weird picking up weird women trying to get a ride. Where are you going? People are texting me. Hold up. Ollie, mom, I don't know if you'll find any shops at this hour, but we're out of dog food. Could you get some for Milo? I'll pay you back. God damn it. Alright, we're going back inside. Dog food, dog food, milk, oil. I think I saw dog food over here. Is this it? Oh, there we go. There we go. I am back. Five dollars. Alright, we got dog food. The dog looks kind of scared. So that guy's gone. Get in there. That's probably fine. Dude, my stuff is in here. Right? Yeah. Alright, let's start driving again. So if I see a woman in white, I'm gonna have you probably just keep driving. Unless she's in my way. I'm not sure why, but at first I went on well gas. Well getting gas. Wait, what? Didn't I get gas? Hold up, didn't I get gas? Alright, we're gonna need to do a U-turn. I think I broke the game. <laughs> I don't know where I am. Dude, why did they give me the option to drive? I'm not a good driver. These are very weird controls. Dude, I might have to start again because I have no gas. 
My car ain't driving. Dude, do I have to start kidding because I have no gas? Alright, I finally made it, dude. I did not restart. And I think Holly is going through it. Listen to the music. How do you pump the gas in the car? Someone tell me. There's no... There's no... Isn't there meant to be like a... Oh, it's two. Okay, hold up. Can I bring it over? God damn it. I'm gonna drive. But yeah, Holly is going through it. She's listening to some sad music. It should be okay. Right. I think it's working. Fill the tank. I filled the tank and I was off to road again. Okay. I'm just happy I can actually drive at full speed now. I feel like I'm gonna hit that fence though. Hold up. There's no way it takes this long to turn. Okay, there we go. Now we're gonna be on our way. Jesus Christ. Alright, I'm never getting out. Being being on the road, you do realize a thing. Monsters truly do exist. And every single one of them looks just like you and me. What? I'm not even gonna read the message. I know if I'm gonna read the message, some random woman's gonna show up. Alright. We're gonna drive forward. I hit something, I'm hitting something. I'm gonna drive forward and not look back. It is what it is. Music is stopping. Things are gonna happen. I feel like. I'm not picking nobody up. I'm not picking nobody up. Okay, just car in front of me, thank god. I'm gonna follow you. Don't leave me. I'm scared. You keep driving, sir. Ma'am. Whatever. You're only lie I have. Kinda scared. Dude, why is he speeding up? Don't leave me! Don't leave me here, I'm scared. I can't see anything, I'm gonna crash. Dude, he left me! How is he driving so much faster? And how is his light not going out? Am I not concerned? Holly, hello? Do you have a conscience? Dude, where did I go? Why would you leave me? It's scary. I don't know what I gotta drive for. I'm not good at this driving business. It's kind of peaceful. Okay, the roads are changing. I mean... I think the roads are gone, honestly. Wait, no, this is a bridge. It is a bridge, right? Are things gonna go down now? Alright, things are going down, I think. Maybe not. Oh. Even the trees are gone, dude. Leaves are dead. I would not be going here, Holly. I can barely freaking drive with full lights on. How am I gonna drive when the lights are not on? If my radio starts buzzing like this in my car, I'm running straight back. I'm I'm turning back straight away. I'm I'll be turning back at the gas station. As a matter of fact, like if someone tells me shit like this, I'm leaving straight away. I like doesn't matter if it's true or not. I'm gone. I am not taking chances. Holly doesn't even care. There's this very weird thing about that night. I saw two. 
Okay. Thought I could drive past those logs, but those wouldn't budge. Dude, now I gotta get out and investigate. Oh, God. All right. What is happening here? What am I meant to investigate? There's nothing I can do here. Oh, I can move them. What the hell? Okay. Damn, I'm pretty strong. This is scaring me. Why are both of them moving like that? That should be enough, right? Yeah, that should be enough. Dude, I'm not dragging it. Get back to where you... Wait, it's opening by itself. I gotta... Wait, what? I thought I was dragging it. But I'm not. It's not me, dude. What the... F is my game bugging or is this meant to happen? Okay. What the hell, dude? So I gotta walk forward? Alright, fine. Be like this. I don't need my car. I don't need anything. I'm gonna walk forward. You think I'm scared? Maybe. Shouldn't have left the car behind. Had to move logs. Yeah, well, the log fucking logs are magical. They, they're moving by itself. Look at this. I ain't even looking. I'm not even looking. Logs are moving. Like, what? Dude, the logs are moved. The logs are moved. How fat is the car? Dude, the logs are moved, right? Alright, that better be enough. Because I don't know how to move them. I just walk near them. Had to move the logs to go ahead. The logs are moved. How much space do you need? Okay, now it's working. Thank God, dude. My car isn't driving, though. My trunk is open. Who the hell is taking my dog food? Okay, okay, I guess it's not meant to move. I guess it's broken. Alright, what do I do now? And just like that, I was stranded in the middle of nowhere with no phone service. Okay, now I feel like my car's gonna explode. Okay. You know what? I, but I would be lying if I said I didn't feel something something. I didn't read the rest of it. I don't mean to make this sound like a cliche horror story, but... Throughout my life, I was told not to take a ride from strangers. Take rides from strangers. But at that moment, I had no choice. I was scared to think how long it would take for someone to pass. Ten twenty three PM I saw a car nearing. I don't see it. Help me, man. Help me. Pure evil. I don't understand how somebody could leave another human being stranded like that. I would have done the same thing, not gonna lie. Help me. I'm stranded. 10.43 p.m. It is so dark, dude. I cannot see a single thing. Anybody? See a car. Help me. Help me. Roll me over or something. Oh, he stopped. Okay. Help me. I'm stranded. Unless you're gonna kidnap me. You're the girl from the gas station. Hi. 
Thank you so much for stopping. Didn't think anyone would stop here. Stop for me. Thank you for so much for stopping. What are you trying to do out here? I think my car just broke down. I can't call for help. Where are you heading to? Just up the road. Hop in. Thank you. Thanks so much. Could you wait till I get my stuff? Hurry up. Just throw it in the back. I won't be here for too long. Alright. Thanks, man. But why do you have to stop so far? Can you back it up? I can grab my stuff easier. It's kind of far. I'm not gonna lie. Alright. Obviously, you know. The dog food first. Definitely the most prized possession I have. Spent whole five dollars for that. There we go. There we go. But you know what would be funny? If this guy... <laughs> I threw all my luggage onto the car. And then he started driving off. I think that would just be hilarious. And the game just ended there. <laughs> I would give this the game a 10 out of 10. Alright, I think that's the last one. So hopefully this guy doesn't start driving off. I mean, actually, go for it, honestly. Okay. There we go. Alright, let me on. You need to hurry up. I don't have all day. Oh, I could've asked him for help. I'm ready, no? Wait, what do you mean help me get my stuff? What else could there be? Oh, that's what it was. It was blending in. How am I meant to see, dude? It's like... It's pure darkness here. Obviously, in the recording afterwards, you wouldn't notice it. But for me right now, it is dark as hell. I'm done. Finally, now hop in, be quick. Okay. No music, nothing. Just silence. So you so you won't tell me who you are, where you're going? Rather not say if that's okay. I live really close from here. I was driving home. And that piece of crap broke down on me. Jason? What? My name's Jason. Okay. Nice to meet you, Jason. But it's kind of weird. You're driving very slow. Should I be concerned for my safety? You're really lucky I had to be on this side of the town tonight. I must say, you're one brave young woman. How's that? You got any clue what happened to your car back there? I think it was battery. It's an old car. That's it? I think so. So what do you think about what he told you back at the gas station? He's funny. He really creeped me out. I didn't listen to it. I didn't listen to a single word. Interesting. I did tell that to every person traveling down here. Left, left mouse button to talk. I don't think I want to talk to Jason. I don't want to sit in the car and just... Fine, I guess I'll talk. So is it true? What? The monsters? Let's see, I've never seen the monster for myself, but there are... There are some things. And I'm afraid your car breaking down could have been one of them. Hey, listen. I don't want to sound like that moron, but just remember this. You don't bother them, and you don't be bothered. Can I talk some more? I guess not. Okay, well, okay. You know I'm sorry for being a jerk to you before. I'm not the best with people. Well, you're very talkative now, aren't you? Twelve o eight a.m. After a little bit of small talk, he dropped me by. He dropped me by a motel. Apparently, they offer roadside assistance. Besides, I thought I could use a little rest. 
Be careful, there are all kinds of people out there, he said ominously before leaving. Should I be afraid of you? I think you're the... I think I need to be afraid of you. Doesn't this look like the guy from the gas station? The man was putting up... Putting out the creepiest vibes imagined. Yeah, I can imagine. Gal need a room to shack up for the night. How much is it for a room? Uh, yes. I'm going to be here for a few hours. Leave. Okay. How much is it for a room? $40 for a single. Pay cash only. So what if I didn't have cash? Room number 9, right over there. Talk about the car. Ninety dollars. Tommy will take care of it the next thing in the morning. Good luck, Tommy. No. And one last thing. Try not to wake the other guests. They might not take very nicely to it. I'm gonna leave, dude. Can I push over your books? I guess not. All right. Do I take my luggage? Like somebody's gotta take my luggage, right? Where's the room service? Should I take a sleep? Okay. Never mind. He knew it. I guess I wasn't very stealthy about it either, but Oh we got service now. Dad, I may have to stay by a motel tonight. What do you Okay, that's the same. Holly? Hi, mom. I am safe. Okay, I guess I'm not allowed to send messages. Alright, this is my room. It was nice and warm inside. Except there was a smell. A type of musky smell you get from old houses. See to crouch. Couldn't have slept there. So how the hell did I order a room with no freaking cushion, no blankets, no nothing? Like what? That is incredibly creepy. Oh, I'm. I should be very terrified. What the hell? What is this? No. Should I be whispering? Kinda of scared. I don't like that there's a feature like that. Oh god. Alright, is this my room? Is this your room? What are you doing here? You scared the crap out of me. I should be asking you. I'm Tommy. Room service here at Rowway Inn, the finest stopover in Norwood. What were you doing in there? You know, cleaning stuff. Yeah. Cleaning stuff with what? I don't see no cleaning supplies. Nothing. Guy at the front desk gave me this room. <laughs> Dude, that is hella creepy. I was gonna have to ask you to step outside while I make the room. I'll just get my stuff. You're like hovering, dude. I think I need to get back in my closet. I don't like the fact that when I got in that closet, there was a voice sensor or meter thing. Uh, that is not gonna be good, dude. Am I gonna have a high for Tommy? Like, look at all the signs you're getting. Like, the world gives you so many signs of why you shouldn't be staying here. And you choose to stay here. Like, the creepy guy, the desk. Freaking really need, needed me some energy soda. Alright, fine, Holly. Cola, 199. Chocolate, soda. I think- no, that's coke. Okay. No, 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 no. You know what? It's nice. It's pretty neat that they added everything in here. You can actually see the different stuff. Consuming these items increases your sprint speed. Dude, this is not good. Alright, let me buy a few more. 
I'm gonna have to sprint a lot, dude. I'm running, gonna run away from Tommy, the freaking weird guy, the reception. Freaking, I don't even know the other, remember the, I don't even remember the other guy's name, dude. Freaking Brian or something. The one that drops off. How much money I got, by the way? Cause I don't know how much money I got left. You don't have, you don't get to keep it. You have to just consume it. Holy crap, dude. Oh my God, I'm fast as hell. Oh god. Oh, so you we do get an actual bed. Thank god. Okay. For some reason, I'm only running fast here. That's so weird. Alright, Holly. Why don't you use your skateboard, baby? So weird, dude. Why am I zooming across the road in the middle of, like, the night? It's like 12 a.m. Tommy's just seeing this. I hope you know how fast I can run. Remember that for later. Because I will outrun you. I think I'm slowing down though. No, I'm not. No, dude. I've lost my powers. I'm back to normal speed. I'm gonna go drink like 10 more of those sodas and hopefully I regain my powers. Last item. And I think we should be good. I had to bring a whole freaking one single hat over. I couldn't take my freaking back with it. Like what? I should be able to take two at a time. I think I'm done. All right. I had a word with Joe about this situation. What is going on here, dude? I didn't even see this. About the situation. All right. What is wrong with these people? Mercy, mercy, mercy. But don't you worry. It's safe here. I'll go get your car. I don't think it's safe here, dude. You were hiding in my battery. I mean, <laughs> you were hiding in my bathroom with no cleaning supplies. And also the room's phone is not working. If if need anything, just ask the front desk. We've been trying to get it fixed, but we haven't been seeing enough guests lately. He he he. That is so creepy, dude. We have a good night. I'm not gonna have a good night, dude. Jesus Christ. Alright, I'm gonna sleep. So over Tommy. Tommy, are you in my bathroom again, dude? Every single day, dude, in my bathroom. You know what? Maybe my bathroom is just better than everyone else's. Kevin, hold up. Can I get up? Um. Hello. Call it foresight, but there was something very off about this- about that place. Couldn't help shake the feeling that something wasn't right. No freaking sh shit! Somebody at my window, weird guy at the reception, Tommy in my bathroom. Like, what do you mean something isn't right? A hot co cup of coffee would help. I don't think it'll help. door opened really weirdly. All right. Who's in here? In my seating. Not even a mirror. Okay, we're gonna go get that coffee. Door opens right in my face. I'm also gonna get energy drink so I can run fast. I don't want Tommy doing his weird things. Reception guy is still there. I'm gonna buy one of these and I'm gonna drink it. You know what? Matter of fact, I'm gonna buy four of those and I'm gonna drink it. What do you mean, coffee? How do I get coffee? Hey man, you peeking on me? You have a great night's sleep. Guessing not. Alright, let me... That's kind of weird. Let me close the door. Oh, there we go. Espresso. Assuming these items help you stay awake. Great. I couldn't just go into any room.
What the hell? Did Holly take some uh, take something? Holly, what did you take? Oh, they they spiked my coffee. All right. What do I do in this situation? I don't know. Run home. Run to my door. Not even mind. Should I be concerned? Can I sleep? Dude, what did they put this? What did they put in my coffee? Three eighteen AM. I was sedated. All right. I'm guessing Tommy's nearby. I'm hearing things. Dude, the bathroom always opens so weirdly. Oh! That was it? I'm dead or what? Do I gotta start a game again? What? even happened what even happened all those save all right so somebody knocked on my door somebody was in my closet okay we're here dude i gotta do the whole luggage thing again i don't want to do this there was probably no good ending i think the good and good ending was me running outside my house and I don't even know if I want to find out. I don't want to deal with this luggage. Dude, do you see that? The person that was talking to me, I just saw it. I came out the door. It was room 8. The person in that room was the one looking through my window, dude. I didn't notice that before, but now that I played it again, it was this guy. This is the guy that was... No, this is room 4. Room 4 was the guy that... And room 4 is next to the coffee machine, dude. He spiked the coffee machine. Now it's all starting to, all starting to make sense, dude. Alright, I'm gonna run straight. Straight for the... Straight for my room. So me... Being hella... Like... Since my drink was spiked, I went to bed. That guy broke into my room. So the guy from room 4, I'm assuming, is the one. I can't read it. Okay, it's fine. Was the guy that freaking... In my closet. So now I'm wondering, is the alternate ending me going out the door? Since the closet clearly is not safe. Okay. I'm ready. I'm ready. I know what I know what's up. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the door. The door didn't seem like a good idea. But now that I know what's in my closet. Oh, you actually hear the guy. Didn't feel safe going out. It doesn't feel safe going saying here, dude. So do what I just crouch? Thing is, I even hear the guy. So 
So I'm guessing the only ending is just me. He's like scratching on my closet. Like what a freak. Uh, I guess I guess that was the only ending. I guess the only ending. I didn't have to play it again. I just wasted my time. Honestly, in my opinion, I feel like this one was a lot less scary than the other one. Like, yeah, there was like, okay, that jump scare, like two jump scares. But I feel like the first one, you know, the build up, everything in it, it was just much scarier than this one, in my opinion. Like, okay, the guy came out of the closet. I opened my bathroom. Tommy was there, you know. This one, I don't know. I feel like definitely was not as scary. Not even a lot has happened. I was just driving, put some gas in. That's really it. But yeah, that was Fears to Fathom Norwood Hitchhiker. Episode 2 of this. I think there's like 7 episodes. We're getting through it. We're getting through it. It was alright. It definitely was not as good as the first one, I think. In my opinion. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one.